The University of Manchester has been teaching MSc course in electrical power engineering for over 60 years. We started many years ago and we taught what was power systems as applicable in the United Kingdom in the 1950s and 1960s. Our course has obviously evolved over many years and now we teach an electrical energy and power systems course which is ideal for the world. So it teaches both UK practice and international practice. One of the priorities on our MSc course is to keep pace with the rapidly changing needs of the industry. As many as you know, the world of electrical power systems is changing. We're now integrating into our power systems renewable energy sources such as wind energy, such as photovoltaic energy. We're also slowly turning off our coal-fired power stations and replacing them with gas stations and with nuclear stations. This creates many changes to the electrical power systems and we are trying to ensure that our students, the engineers of the future, the managers of the future, will have the skills to run these far more volatile power systems. The module is about power system plant, asset management and condition monitoring. Students can learn what is the technical challenge of the modern power system network and how to deal with them as an asset engineer. Um, and that kind of practical experience um, is quite unique at Manchester University because the professors teaching on that course are well experienced in their research and that the world leading expert in their field. The course at Manchester University is particularly unique in the sense that um, you do not necessarily need to have knowledge of power systems from before. I did not have knowledge of power systems from before. They start from a level that everyone can understand and they move on to a very uh, detailed, in-depth study of power system analysis. It's an accredited course, which is important in this sort of field. And I think importantly it's the facilities that make it very different because you've got labs and things all in one building and you've got different types of labs that most universities only have one of. They are top level facilities with all the good equipment. Whilst it is a, quite a specific power systems course, it does cover quite a broad range of power systems. You have dynamics, economics, communication issues. Whereas the other MSCs that I looked at, you had to pick a very specific focus. This course gave the full range to look across. When a student joins our Power Systems course, they arrive in September. We introduce them to the basics of power systems, which is often about the traditional power systems, and we try and bring the group of students up to an appropriate level. This is done by a mixture of formal teaching in lectures, it's done by tutorial classes, it's done by examples classes, and also by laboratory activities. Our course is structured in a modular fashion. It consists of eight taught modules, and each module is taught over a period of three weeks. During that three-week period, they tend to interact only with the teacher that are teaching that course. And you do all the labs, all the assignments during that week, and you expect to submit all the coursework also during that week. That makes it easier to move from one module to another without interfering with each other. The AHP lab that we have here is one in kind in a university among UK. So we are proud to host one of the biggest uh, impulse generators, 2 million volts, for uh, experimenting uh, infrastructure uh, that has like buildings or uh, wind turbines that can be protected for lightning strikes. They have the unique opportunity to play around with equipment that is rare in globe actually that they will have that opportunity to do. We are offering to our students demonstration of uh, modern technology, modern devices, microprocessor based uh, protective devices, also satellite uh, controlled uh, protective units uh, for protection of uh, large uh, power systems. It's very intensive course, very challenging. It's, it's like, you know, it demands the maximum from you. I started working uh, with Siemens here in Manchester, being a graduate from this course and also with high grades. It was it wasn't difficult to get a good role in the power sector that fully fulfills my career aspirations. 
I went on to work with the National Grid as a power system engineer. It's a very exciting job. I look at the entire UK electricity network and how the generation is coming on, how are we going to connect the offshore networks and the different aspects related to that. And without this course, I wouldn't have the basic knowledge. This is one of the top MSc courses in power systems in the world. We have every year 70 to 80 students on our MSc course from all over the world. These students move on to important roles in industry and later move on to senior managerial and senior engineering roles in industry. I hope to welcome you here to the University of Manchester.